need to put gloves on. Oh, man. Take two. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> you might need your wife's strength to pull that out. I might. <laughs> well, I was pulling off the end of the... Thing. Yeah. Alright. Well, it's... Everything's thawing out, so let's get the slippery. Yesterday we were able to get the bottom barbed wire uh, on the fence around the barnyard and then we were able to pull this, this second stretch of fence here around the barn. So we've got one more stretch of uh, fence to do today. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, I've got the roll of fence back here on the tractor. We're going to go ahead, this is our longest pull of fence because this is going to go from the barnyard uh, actually down uh, into the pasture so it'll actually uh, be the side of the barnyard and the side of this this will be our smallest little paddock in this pasture and we'll go ahead and get that roll of fence down there we'll get it all stretched out here and start hanging this fence We got the fence all stretched out here and then what we've done is we've just uh, lightly stapled this. It's, it's loose so the fence still moves. Uh, it's stapled here just temporarily while we wrap the wire around the fence. So we wanted the fence to kind of be laying um, parallel to the ground in the direction that's going to run um, so it's nice and standing up the proper way before we wrap this around. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to strip these out, strip these wires off the end. I'm going to have to probably strip about two or three of these off the end and then we'll tie it uh, back to itself and then it should be ready to stretch and then right before we stretch it we'll go ahead and pull these staples back out. back to itself so it's secure to this end of the post it's ready to be stretched now these staples here they're just in here loosely they're gonna make sure that this fence stays the right height for now until I start to put a little bit of tension on the fence once I start tensioning the fence up I'll come back I'll pull these out before I really tighten the fence up now ideally this center strand would be perfectly right down the middle of the, the post but my post is, is more this direction and it should have been perpendicular to the ground. So it should have been leaning more this way. Uh, so you can do, that just was a tattletale that my post isn't perfect. Uh, but if I had my post set perpendicular to the ground, this vertical strand would have just ran perfectly down the middle. But uh, it's, it's just like anything I do, it's, it's not perfect. So go ahead, we're gonna go down to the other end now. We're gonna uh, start getting ready to stretch this fence. So to stretch the fence, all we're going to do is we're just going to clamp a couple, a couple of two by sixes. 
uh, onto the fence. We're just going to tighten that down, pinch that fence in there. Um, we're going to put a chain around this board and attach a come along between this board and the tractor here. And then we'll use the tractor to be able to stretch the fence out. We got the fence uh, stretched out, all tensioned up. It's still sagging a little bit because it's not tied to the T-post, but it's nice and tight right now. So what we did is we ended up putting two staples on each wire and we pounded those down tight. Uh, we pounded them down tight so when we cut the tension off of these and wrap it around and tie it back to itself, that it doesn't lose tension. So that's why we, we, uh, we actually nailed this side down tight with two staples per wire just so we can cut it tie it back to itself but down here we put some staples in on this post over here and that's just to keep it against the post and to hold the height right those staples are actually just slightly loose so the wire can still slide in, in those staples there so now we'll go ahead we'll start clipping these wires in the middle and start tying it back to itself we'll do the we'll do the top and bottom wire uh, last. They'll be the last ones we cut and tie back to itself. This was the last major piece of fence, you know, to make the barnyard perimeter. So uh, from this post right there, and then coming this way, this is barnyard perimeter fencing. Um, but from that post back, that's going to be in a pasture area back there. So this stretch of field fence is part barnyard fence and part pasture fence. Um, and that's going to be probably our smallest paddock of pasture back in this little section back here. So this field fence right here, this is what we ended up putting up in yesterday. So we got this stretch here put in yesterday. And um, right here is going to be one of our only small gates. So that we just have a, a we're going to put a small gate through here for us to be able to walk through and get into that small uh, pasture right there. And then uh, back here on this side of the barn here, we're going to have a small gate back here on this side to be able to enter the barnyard from this side of the barn. 
Uh, but on the other side, um, we're, it's going to be all like eight foot gates on the other side uh, leading out to the pasture or leading into the barnyard. So now I'm standing on the other side. This is the field fence that we stretched yesterday morning. And um, right here is where one of the eight foot gates is going to go. In this corner right here, I still need to do a little bit of fencing right there and fence in this little corner. And then here's going to be another eight foot fence leading out to this larger pasture on this side. And uh, toward the front of the barn, right next to our driveway, right up here, we're gonna we still got a little bit of fencing to do right in there, and we're gonna put a large gate, like an eight foot gate, up there next to the road to be able to drive into the barnyard. And uh, so that'll be the next thing I think. I think the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on gates so that we can get the barnyard completely enclosed and secure, and uh, then we'll move on to the inside of the barn. So far, it's been a busy weekend. We've We've taken that barbed wire and we've stretched that out on all the places that we're uh, putting field fencing. We got that along the ground at the bottom of the fence. And then we've got the last two sections of field fence hung. So, been pretty busy weekend and getting ready to go jump on building some more gates and see if we can get some gates hung. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll have this barnyard buttoned up real soon. So, stay tuned. More coming as we try to fix up this old bank barn here. Thanks for watching.